Hi everyone, welcome to Jemkim. Now today's video is on solutions and colligative properties part 5 video and here we are going to deal with the derivation for depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure. Now before starting, already 4 videos are uploaded in channel. You can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. And if you are new to Jemkim, do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us start. Now, in the first derivation, we will see the depression of freezing point, but this derivation will be done in a very precise manner as we have already dealt with the elevation in boiling point derivation and this derivation is exactly same as that one with little changes in it. So, at freezing point, uh, what happens? There is a constant pressure and a temperature which we say as freezing point Tf. And we have a thermodynamic condition of equilibrium where it states that liquid solvent in solution is in equilibrium with pure solid solvent. And here we assume that the solute is non-volatile. Now, if we see the derivation, then it will be represented with respect to the chemical potential as we have seen in the previous case. So, on solving this one, and this can be evaluated as the pure state of the chemical potential plus the RTF ln Xi. Now for details you have to refer to the previous video. If you are coming directly to this video then it will be difficult for you to understand. So, so first refer to the part 4 video and then only come to this video. Now we will take the ln X1 on the left hand side and put all the things in the right hand side. And this particular expression comes to be equal to as delta fusion free energy change at freezing point right now this is our equation one for the derivation next we differentiate the equation one with respect to x to get this kind of expression this is our e equation one and we differentiate this one to get this equation next we know that gibbs helmholtz equation shows that this is equal to delta h fuse by tf square so we have just done a mere substitution after that we have to take all these things all these things to the right hand side and dtf will be in our left hand side and then only we can get this kind of expression now we have already seen how to derive the expression for x1 which is our important part that is the part of solute present in the solvent. So, this is our mole fraction, right? So, on further deriving the mole fraction using simple formulas of molarity, then we can get this expression. Now, this dm2 is being taken in the left hand side. So, ultimately this expression is being obtained. Now, dtf by dm2 is equals to rtf square by delta h fusion into m1 by 1000. This particular expression is equal to our cryoscopic constant which is kf. Now we have to integrate this expression from tf star to tf and this from 0 to m2. On differentiating we had obtained this one, this expression and on further integration what we obtain is delta tf equals to kf m2 and we know that kf is our derived constant which is being required for this. Now if we want to understand what is kf, kf is cryoscopic constant and this equation is particularly varied for all ideal and ideally dilute solution. Solute is insoluble in solid solvent and solute is a non-electrolyte. And now we will deal with our main topic of discussion that is osmosis and osmotic pressure. First of all, it is very essential to understand what is osmosis. Now, osmosis is a physical phenomena or process that is solvent is moving from the solvent side to the solution side through semi-permeable membrane. Why it is moving towards the solution side? Because the solvent is higher in quantity in its own side and lesser in quantity that is less in concentration in solution side. So, it will move from higher concentration to lower concentration across a particular type of membrane which is 
semi-permeable membrane. Now, what is osmotic pressure? It is a minimum amount of pressure exerted to the semi-permeable membrane just to prevent osmosis. This is a pressure ex exerted by the membrane to prevent osmosis and it depends on the concentration of solution. When we will derive the expression, we will see that osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of solution. Now, let consider that pi be the osmotic pressure of the solution having a molar concentration of solute C2 at T Kelvin temperature. So, at equilibrium, what we will see? This is our pure state and this is when osmotic pressure is starting to occur due to the presence of solution, right? So, we have taken the pressure as P plus pi and this is our X1. This can be further elaborately written if we consider that the solution is ideal to be as in the pure state plus RTLN X1. Taken now, RTLN XI in this side and this one is taken in the right hand side, right? So, we get the equation 2. Again, we know that d mu i star that is for the pure state L that is for liquid state temperature T and pressure the volume pure volume into dp is being present. So, on integrating what we get is that the equation 3 this is our equation 3 and when we compare this equation 3 with equation 2 then our expression is being obtained just like this. Now, I have already told you that x1 is a mole fraction of solute and x2 is a mole fraction of solvent. So, from here only we can understand that 1 minus x2 is being obtained as x1 plus x2 is always equal to 1. Now, we can write it like this that is rt x2 is equals to rt n2 by n2 plus n1. That is we are elaborating the term x2 which is our mole fraction for the solvent. So, if we try to ignore the number of moles of N2 in the downside, then we can say that RT N2 by N1, right? So, ultimately what we get is this part of expression. And if we evaluate it further, we will get that pi equals to C2 RT. And complete derivation is being shown in this video. You have to understand each steps, but some steps are being jumped while telling you because it's essential for you to nurture yourself. As I have already done many parts of this derivation in the previous videos. So, this much for today. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.